Hello everybody, this is uh, Drilling Holes in Hard Drives 101. <laughs> no, I just want to show you guys uh, the insides of a hard drive because I've got an old one here that I want to pull apart. So this here is a uh, 4 gigabyte hard drive that I once had in my um, Pentium 2. It was really state of the art back then. Ugh, it's somewhat on the subject here. Um, the screws were pretty simple to take out. Sometimes they're these funny screws and you need a special screwdriver, but this, these were just Phillips screws. And uh, here we go, here's the insides. Now, you might say, oh, it's like a CD. Well, it is, it's a magnetic, well, not, not really, but what these two uh, discs are, they, they're called platters and they are a magnetic, basically, disc. They have a bunch of different sec tiny little um, particles, magnetic particles, which uh, are either flipped one way or the other for ones and zeros. Um, thanks to Curtis, by the way, for uh, teaching me all this, because I didn't know any of this before that. Yeah, so these are the platters. They spin around at a fairly con consistent speed. Uh, the faster ones these days are 7200 RPMs. Uh, I'm not sure what this one is. Um, that there is your little, um, whatever you want to call it, your head that reads and writes data. And these here are actually two big magnets and if you look in there, I'm not sure if you can see it, there's actually a few coils of wire and I think what they do is they pass current through different directions to make this thing move back and forth. And yeah, and then on the bottom we have the circuit board which controls all of it. The hard drive is plugged in here. This, all these pins here are for the data cable, the IDE cable. Um, here are your jumpers. I don't know if you can see that, but those are where your jumper settings are. I've got it set to cable select. And then there's your power um, cable. So let's plug this in and I'll show you what it looks like when it's plugged in here. So we, I've just pulled a power cable from my computer and I'm going to plug it in here. Get ready to watch it spin up. You can probably hear that. You saw that move there. Now, if you can hear a um, hard drive spin, that's not really a good thing because that means the bearings are slowly dying. Alright, I just pulled off the two magnets that control the uh, the needle here, the head, I guess. I don't know what you call this thing. The reader and writer stick. Um, you can see here the coils of wire that obviously they ran current through to control the hard drive um, reading and writing function. Those are two, you know, decently strong magnets sitting over there. So yeah, now I'm just going to remove this. That's one of those sco stupid screws. But we can uh, loosen them by using pliers. Ha uh -huh. And hopefully continue to loosen them using a Phillips here. No, never mind. Now, if you're able to get to this point, I've never actually been able to take the platters off. I'll try that and maybe put it in another video because I'm going to run out of time in this video. But uh, let's plug this in. And what you'll find out is these platters spin for a very long time when they don't have any fri friction to uh, prevent them, you know, from stopping. And it actually can work as a, a gyroscope. Like if you're holding it and they're spinning really fast, it wants to stay like, if it's like this, it wants to stay like this. And if you try and turn it, it actually takes effort. Um, it's pretty cool. Hello there. Okay, let's try that. So let's just turn on the video camera here. It's just a mess of a desk here. Oh. 
okay. Let's plug this in now. Um, there we go. So, um, that's pretty much all I was going to cover in this video. Um, it's not really any, there wasn't anything really I wanted to show you guys other than just the inside of a drive and how to take it apart. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Until next time. Okay, uh, I found out that it's probably possible to get these platters off because I was able to uh, undo these funny screws with my uh, pliers. So, let's see if we can get these out. Okay, let's pull these platters off. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I'll stop acting weird. This is all like aluminum so that the uh so that it's not magnetic, I think. <laughs> and there's your motor. Let's plug that in. Haha. <laughs> Oops, wrong way. Okay. Why'd that go off? Hmm. Anyway, I'll catch you guys all later.